Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we are going to learn a new English lesson which is an extract from the novel The Children of the New Forest written by Captain Frederick Marriott. This is a story about four children who are orphaned during the English Civil War. These children are later raised up by a loyal friend of their father whose name is Jacob Amate. In this story, we will learn how these four children cooked their own dinner and hid from the troopers who came to the cottage. Let's watch the video to the story to understand and comprehend this lesson in a better way. Learning to cook Jacob arrived at the cottage and found the children outside the door, watching for him. They all hastened to him, and the dog rushed before them to welcome his master. Down, smoker, good dog. Well, Mr. Edward, I have been as quick as I could. How have Mr. Humphrey and your sisters behaved? But we must not remain outside today, for the troopers are scouring the forest and may see you. Let us come in directly, for it would not do that they should come here. They all entered the cottage, which consisted of one large room in the front and two back rooms for bedrooms. There was also a third bedroom, which was behind the other two and did not have any furniture in it. Now, let's see what we can have for dinner. There's venison left, I know, said Jacob. Come, we must all be useful. Who will be the cook? I will be the cook, said Alice, if you show me how. So you shall, my dear, said Jacob, and I will show you how. There's some potatoes in the basket in the corner and some onions hanging on the string. We must have some water. Who will fetch it? I will, said Edward, who took a pail and went out to the spring. The potatoes were peeled and washed by the children. Jacob and Edward cut the venison into pieces. The iron pot was cleaned. And then the meat and potatoes put with water into the pot and placed on the fire. Now I'll cut up the onions for they will make your eyes water. I don't care, said Humphrey. I'll cut and cry at the same time. And Humphrey took up a knife and cut away most manfully. Although he was obliged to wipe his tears with his sleeve very often. You are a fine fellow, Humphrey, said Jacob. Now you see, you have cooked your own dinner. Isn't that pleasant? Yes, they all cried. And we will eat our own dinner as soon as it's ready. Then, Humphrey, you must get some plates down, which are on the drawer. And, Alice, you will find some knives in the drawer. And let me see, what can little Edith do? Oh, she can go to the cupboard and find the salt shaker. Edward, just look out, and if you see anybody coming or passing, let me know. We must put you on guard till the troopers leave the forest. While the dinner was cooking, Jacob amused children by showing them how to put things in order. The floor was swept and the fireplace was made tidy. He showed Alice how to wash out a piece of cloth and Humphrey how to dust the chairs. They all worked merrily. Jacob went outside and observed that they were coming in a direction that would lead near the cottage. He walked in and after a moment's thought he said, My dear children, those men may come and search the cottage. You must do as I tell you and mind that you are very quiet. 
Humphrey, you and your sisters must go to bed and pretend to be very ill. Edward, take off your coat and put on this old hunting frock of mine. You must be in the bedroom attending your sick brother and sisters. Come, Edith, there. You must pretend to be asleep and have your dinner afterwards. He sent the children to bed before the dinner and told them to change their expensive clothes. The troopers entered the cottage and searched all the rooms thoroughly. However, they took no notice of the children and finally left the cottage. In this way, Jacob saved the children. So children, I hope that you have understood and enjoyed the lesson and you might also have come to know the fact that in order to divert the attention of the kids, Jacob planned to keep them busy in the process of cooking. So with this, we end today's English learning lesson. I hope to see you next time. If you have any queries or you have any questions, you can email me on my mailing ID, which is ufak.bande at the rate of kashmirharvard.org. Assalamu alaikum.